Hey, how's everyone doing today? That was a nice little uh, run through there. And I hit like second to third or something. I forgot what gear it was. It, it, it backfired really loud. I mean, it made a big pop, so. That was kind of cool. It normally don't do that, so. Okay, so today I want to talk about um, used versus new bikes. I mean, this, this can apply in motorcycles, cars, pretty much anything. Um, but obviously it's more towards motorcycles since that's what I'm on right now. So anyway, so I want to say obviously this BMW S1000 RR that I bought is a used bike. It's a 2010 obviously it's 2017 it's not a brand new bike so i want to say a couple reasons why i chose that and then other reasons why i may say others may want to go that way um but obviously it's totally biased it's totally a uh, opinion affiliated and you know you do it you do what you want so first of all all right i think one big thing when it comes to new and used obviously is obviously the biggest thing is going to be your cost you know it's really how much do you want to spend you know do you want to spend the amount of money for a new one or do you want to go a little cheaper so that's obviously the biggest thing is uh money but i think that's something we don't need to really stay on talking about because it's pretty obvious obviously money is a huge factor but if money isn't a problem for example for me i was considering a brand new bike absolutely so it really, yeah, I mean, I didn't want to necessarily spend, you know, $20,000, but it was definitely an option for me. I was thinking, okay, well, I could get a brand new bike or I could get a used bike, blah, blah, blah. I was like, I can get, I can get new. Now, that's when I started looking at ZX-10s because for the price for, you know, like $13,000, you can get a brand new 2017 with zero miles and that's your bike. And so for me, I was like, man, that's pretty cheap. I can get a brand new bike. But the thing is, is I like to go fast, obviously, but I like to have aftermarket stuff. And what I mean is I want exhaust, tune, ECU flash, etc. You don't have to have that, no. And for me, it was more financially smart to go out and buy a used bike with all those things that I wanted on a bike then go out and get a new one because I'm going to go out and pick up a brand new bike then I have to dump all this money on mods and obviously that's not you have to but you know that's going to be what I want to do so now you're looking at probably another five grand so I'm like man so I could be 25 grand in and what what do I want to do and I did think well I, I was kind of I even looked at an H2 um, but I decided, nah, I don't, I don't really want an H2. I'm sure, I would love to ride one, and maybe then that would change my mind. It's kind of like this bike. I didn't really think anything about these S1000s until I rode it myself, and I fell in love, and I realized, oh, this bike's really, really awesome. I want this bike now, because I was more of a ZX-10 guy, or even Jixxer 1000s, and S1000 really wasn't even on my mind. And now I'm so glad that I discovered it because it's, it, it really is, it is such a good bike. And I think anyone can agree with that statement if you've ridden it. So, um, so obviously that's one of the big things is gonna be your mods. But another huge thing for me, you know, every year in a motorcycle, motorcycles drastically change unlike a car. I mean, yes, I'm an automotive technician. So yes, cars do change a lot and all the time. But when it comes to motorcycles, they change like drastically every year. Now, and that was a huge thing because I'm looking at, this is seven years old, which is hard to believe in all honesty, but this is seven year motorcycle. So do I really want that? Or, you know, I'd probably get a 2015, 2016 as 1000 RR when it came out to my decision of what bike I want to get. Well, I do want to say on this that in my opinion, and I know, again, there's going to be guys that totally disagree with this, but this is totally my opinion. I don't think it's worth getting a new S1000. Now, 1516, if as long as I'm pretty sure I'm correct on this. 
they did change the bikes a little bit. They're 199 horsepower, so they're up like eight horsepower, I believe. And they do have like heated grips, and I believe they have cruise control and they have launch control. To me, none of that's, I don't care about heated grips. First of all, I live in South Carolina, near the border of Georgia. It's warm year round. You, yeah, I really don't see a need for heated grips in my climate. Up north, it may be nice to have them, but for here, not that necessary. Another thing, launch control, that's pretty cool, I bet. Revving it up, this bike has it programmed, even though it's old, since it's been tuned and all that, it's added. So I can do a launch control. Um, but, I mean, heck, you don't need it. Think of how, for how long riders have been just using their left hand. So it's not super necessary. Uh, the only other difference really besides you know those couple things is the suspension did get you get changed and it is the HP4 suspension and like the 15 16 newer bikes um, so they got rid of obviously this suspension when HP4 which was a better suspension which is kind of hard for me to believe in a way not I mean I believe it but this suspension on this bike is so good it's one of the best handling bikes I've ever ridden if not the best so to think with HP4s, it's got to be uh, pretty, pretty insane. So I mean, HP4 suspension, fantastic anyway. And so is this. So that's one thing I was like, oh, it does have HP4 suspension, a couple, up a, a few horsepower. But you know, with all the mods and stuff like that, my bike made 192 to the tire, and that's without an ECU flash. I was a power commander, so with the ECU flash, I can definitely get a little bit more because you can get more parameters, and also the way the power delivers on. But I mean, in all honesty, besides that, there's really not a lot. And and just for me, I just did not, I, did, I could not justify myself to buy a new bike compared to an old one with stuff done that would save me money. And it's just what I'm on. I mean, I absolutely love this bike. Every time I ride it, I love it. It's fast, it handles good, it looks good, it sounds good. People, I even get compliments on the bike. Wow, that's a really nice bike, man. So, I am more than happy with this bike. And some people say, oh man, well this thing's old now, you need to get a new bike. Well, maybe I will, but not anytime soon because I really do love this bike a lot. And I even talked to some of my friends I've been riding for a long time, and they even said that this bike is so good, they said you really, the new ones is really not that big of a difference. My friend, who used to be, you know, he wanted to be the fastest he could, and he had to pull out modded ZX-10R, and you know, Boozo, all that fun stuff. I mean ZX-14R. But he's kind of like, he even told me, he's like, dude, you don't even need it now. He's like, it's honestly not even necessary to be that fast and all that. He's like, yeah, it's fun, but he's like, to a certain point. He's like, all you're going to keep doing is you're going to be fast and then someone else is going to be faster. Then you're going to have to upgrade. He's like, I don't need to keep dumping more money and money. Is, is it even fun at that point? He has a point. Because you do get to those points, you keep dumping more and more money and stuff. And, and then you kind of almost question yourself. Well, is this even fun anymore? Like, am I actually enjoying this? Like, is it fun to have this bike? So, definitely something to keep in mind. Um, but I would say to most people, you know, a new bike is great because you have the warranty. That's one huge thing. Um, and if you're going to mod it, because, like I said, for me, I, I, I wanted this thing... Tuned. If I mean, and if not, I, there's things I would do that if it didn't have it all. Exhaust is one of the biggest things, and you and the main reason why is because of how expensive a stupid exhaust is for for a motorcycle. Any bike, a full exhaust is really expensive. So I'm glad it's had it, and I'm really happy with how it's set up and how it rides and all that. So. I mean, there's not much to say on that. It's just, it's really like opinionated on that. A new versus old, but you definitely can save money. Absolutely, by getting a bike, especially with a few thousand miles, can save you literally thousands of dollars by getting a bike that, you know, that only has a thousand or two miles on it.
Yeah, three fifty Z was doing a hundred plus, so he he had that thing cracked open. as you probably saw my traction light was going off and the bike was jumping and wheeling real hard that was second gear that's probably why that do subscribe and watch these videos it means a lot to me um, and if you're new and this is your first time please hit that subscribe button hit a like leave a comment i love to read the comments reply any questions or anything like that feel free to ask till next time guys thanks for watching